Okay, today I did Aldi haul, so I'm going to go over that with you all. Put these keys up somewhere. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we have to wait. Okay, I got lunch meat. Let's just put it all out. See what we have. Okay, I got the stemless wine glasses. They're really cute. They have like little gold sparkles on them. I, was, didn't have, I only have one wine glass because I think I donated them. Okay, gravy mix. 1% milk. Or is it 2%? 1%. Then I got some more country gravy mix. Okay. Oh, let's see what else. Cash browns. I got some turkey meat. I'm trying to do it like this. I got this for my neighbor because I'm going to make her dinner. And I thought that would be an easy pot roast. And then I also got one for my myself. So that looks really good. They were $7.99 each. And I'm going to use another bag to go out to the car. I got some steel cut oats. And I got lots of canned vegetables. I got some pesto. And peas. Let's see what else we have. Saltines. Sometimes you need those if you make fried oysters. Crushed pineapple in its own juice. And I thought I would try their classic roast coffee. Just for a change. And if you don't like it, at least we'll have some coffee on here. We just use a regular coffee maker instead of the Keurig. Peas, pineapple. Okay, let's put this out of the way. And let's get some more stuff. Here we go. Pixel, this is so exciting. This was the best deal. I got three of these chicken breast tenderloins, and they were each like, um, I think it was, they're $1.99 a pound. So I thought that was a great deal. I'm going to put those in the freezer. Okay, I'll put those up here for now. And then. What else we got? Okay, head of lettuce. You can always do a lettuce wedge throwback. Celery, green peppers. Oh, um, can get a bag of onions, sweet onions. And I got some tomatoes, just Roma, and strawberries. And then I got some. Two Caesar salads. I'm going to give one to my neighbor because her husband is sick. And then some grapes. That looks pretty good. Oh, and here's another chicken. Okay, this chicken I'm going to cook. I'm going to put this over here. And see what else we have. Got some blue corn chips in case somebody needs a snack. And I got these rolls. I'm going to take them to my neighbor. And I found these keto friendly um, wraps. So I'm going to see what they are on Weight Watchers. And they're only 60 calories each. Uh, I got some bread. It looks like it was kind of good. Four grams of carbs. We'll see what it adds up to be. Then, of course, I got my 647 bread that I love. One point. Okay. Broccoli, yum. 
my favorite. Okay, and I just got some potatoes. I think we already have some, but you know, you can always use potatoes. Okay, here's another Caesar salad and squash. And carrots. And then I have some, I'm gonna put this away. And then I have some more stuff in my car. Let's put these over here. Let's put all these perishables away. That's the only thing about buying stuff. You, sometimes then you have to find a place for it. Luckily, we have an extra refrigerator downstairs, but. Okay, so this probably needs to be rearranged. And let me see, did I run those yet? I think I did, okay, good. Okay. Let's just get all these in the right temperature. Temperature. refrigerator and take that over to my neighbor tonight. Okay, let's see what else we have. Um, celery, put away. Okay, these chicken breasts, I have to take those downstairs. So I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to go outside and get the rest of my stuff. Okay, and these pans were 69 cents each, which is great. It's a great roasting pan that you can use again, or you can throw it away. Okay, so I'm gonna unpack the rest of the haul. So here we go, so here I thought I'd try this marinara sauce. Sometimes this is good just to have on hand, um, just to throw together, you know, a diet pizza or something. I don't know, I just got it to have on hand. And then I tried this honey sesame dipping sauce. I thought maybe I could make some kind of frozen chicken breast thing in the fast pot kind of like the six sisters or something like that more marinara and i got a thing of garlic i usually use fresh but sometimes you don't always have fresh so that works great hand soap okay and i just got their brand of olive oil and i just got the inexpensive one i have some on hand but that. And on Weight Watchers um, Purple Plan, you can have garbanzo beans. So I got plenty of beans for my diet. And corn. I have that. Zero points for those. Okay, so we'll unpack all of these. Then, let's see what else we have. Oh, and then I thought I would... Oh, and then I found another house thing. I found this little bag thing. It looks like, it looks like you can just mount it to the inside of your door. So we'll see. Yeah, you can. Oh, that looks good with adhesive tape. So this is like a thing to put your plastic bags in. So I think that'll be really functional. Okay, and then I thought I'd try some of their cheaper wines. So this is a, a Winking Owl Chardonnay, super cheap. Just to have on hand, because sometimes you get a good bottle if you're really going to have somebody over, which we never do. But summer's coming, spring's coming. And then I try, I thought I'd try this dry rosé, because that's what I really like, is a dry rosé. So I thought I'd try that. And that was very reasonable also, just to have on hand. I have a friend and she says, open the good bottle of wine first, a really good bottle, and then go to the cheaper ones. So, you can do what you want though. And then I got, yeah, I got 
the, the dry rosé, three bottles of that. And then I got this. I don't like sweet ones, but I have some friends that do. So I got this, and it's so beautiful. I love the top of it. Isn't that cute? I love it. Everything from Aldi. Okay, let's see what else I have. Oh, and I got these. Is this crushed? No, this is corn. I got crushed pineapple in there somewhere. So this wine looks good. Pink Moscato. I think we all need a drink these days with all this stuff going on, like one or two. And you know, only 8% um, of the population has the enzyme that causes you to be an alcoholic. So um, if you can have two drinks or one drink or three drinks and stop, you're probably not an alcoholic. You probably shouldn't drive though. But, you know, if you have to have 10 or 15 drinks, then you might have an enzyme problem. And it's not really your fault. It's a disease. And then that must be really difficult, actually, for people. So, anyway, but I did get some wine to have on hand. But I try to be, I try never to drink and drive. And I try to just maybe have one or two a night. And not the real big glasses. But anyway, these glasses, I think, let's come to that. Let's see how many ounces these are. 18.5 ounce. Oh my God. Hand wash. That's not good. Okay, didn't read that. 18.5 ounce capacity. So that means you just put a little bit in the bottom. I guess you just measure it and then you know like how much five ounces is. Okay, great. So I think we did really good. I spent $179 at Aldi. And I got a lot of, um, if you eat meat, I got a lot of meat. I got a lot of wine. I got some housewares. I just really, I got a lot of fresh vegetables and fruits. So I think that was really good. So anyway, there we go.